So, Robert Griffin, you know a little bit about this particular event, and thankfully, because you had some extra time on your hands, you were able to do a little something to show the people exactly what this event is all about. What's up, guys? I'm Robert Griffin III, and I'm here with the 400 Hurdles and event made famous by the great Edwin Moses. For me, a guy that won the Olympics in 1976 and 1984. Whew! 122 straight races he went without losing and part of it was the 13 steps that he took between the hurdles now what people don't understand is he got to that naturally with his own speed and frequency and people nowadays get caught up in whether they should take 13 14 or 15 steps but i'm here to tell you it's the ones who can alternate legs that have the best advantage in this race you're going to see it i'm going to run it right here for you on 8 9 and 10. you'll see hurdlers come up and if they start to stutter step it's because they don't have confidence in hurdling in that opposite leg, and that leads to them not being able to win the race. So let me show you real quick. So there you have it. The 400 hurdles, it's not about how many steps you take between them, but it's about eliminating those unnecessary steps before you hurdle. Eliminating that stutter step could be the difference between you getting the gold and getting left behind. And so, Robert, how long had it been since you did that? Oh my gosh, Dwight, I felt like an elephant on the track. <laughs> it was, it's been five years since I ran over three hurdles and I know exactly why all the lactic was in my legs on those 150s.